Welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren Kellerman. This is Squarely on the Level, and I'm working in conjunction with the Grand Lodge of Kansas. This week, I'm going to talk about some things that I saw and heard at the recent 2020 incoming area and district deputy orientation. A lot of stuff can be rolling out at the annual communication. This is where they talk about it and get the guys squared away before they come to our lodges in the springtime. Let me just say what a great group of guys coming in. Big thank you to the guys that served us this past year for the 2019 and 2020 year. And some of those guys are staying on. Some of them are stepping out to let new guys step into that leadership role. So great job to the guys going out. Great job uh, coming forward for the guys coming in because they are an enthusiastic group of people. I enjoyed spending the day down in Wichita at KMH, our Kansas Masonic home with them. But one of the first speakers was Executive Director of the Kansas Masonic Foundation, Brother Bob Shively. And you've probably heard him. He's come to your lodge. He's come to area meetings. He is just very dynamic and he was talking about what's been going on the foundation and there is, as I hope you know, a lot of stuff going on. They're just about to wrap up their 50th anniversary campaign, but there is even more coming. About six years ago, there was a study done by the Kansas Masonic Foundation and they just redid that again to see if they could verify and confirm or see what, if anything had changed in those results from that original survey back in 2014, uh, 2015. And well, here's Brother Bob. I'm here in Wichita uh, this morning and uh, sharing with the brothers at the uh, uh, orientation, the new uh, uh, area and deputy uh, grandmasters for uh, uh, Right Worshipful Tony Borman, uh, a little bit about the foundation. And uh, I shared with them this morning uh, information that came back from a redo of the survey that some of you may recall that we did about six years ago, uh, where we um, uh, surveyed the general population here in Kansas. And uh, we uh, confirmed uh, some of the information that we uh, uh, received uh, six years ago. And uh, unfortunately, it, it has not changed much. And uh, there's basically about uh, three or four statistics uh, that I'd like to share with you uh, that I think are very important. Uh, the first one is, is uh, uh, only 13% of the general population is aware of who we are or what we do. Uh, we got a long ways to go for a uh, communication standpoint to let them know who Masons really are. But even more disturbing, only 1% of the people in Kansas understand that we do charitable work. 1% understand that we do charitable work. So our focus uh, uh, this next year and in the future, and you'll be hearing more about it, is going to be empowering our lodges to communicate that message of the good charitable work that we do. Uh, throughout the state, but uh, even more specifically within the communities. I'm not sure how you feel, but those are horrific numbers. Only 13% know who we are, and only 1% know that we do charitable work. What are we doing, guys? Are we just sitting around talking about how great we are? Or are we actually doing something about it? If you're like Darren, I don't know what my lodge can do. I don't know what I can do. Well, come on now. Kansas Masonic Foundation is right there. They've got all sorts of programs for you and your lodge for free that get your lodge in, in the newspaper, on the radio, out in the public eye, doing good stuff, giving your local community money, giving uh, just, if you haven't yet, go on to kansasmasonic.foundation. Check out the website. Here it is right here turning there we go there it is there's a list of programs right on the front page Kansas Masonic dot foundation I'll post a link in the comments down below in the description down below check out all the programs I mean the, at the very you hopefully know about the scholarship program we got that's going on right now deadline is like the first of March for for Kansas College students we've got the Masonic military affairs program we've got the Kansas Masonic Literacy Center we've got the entrepreneurship challenge We've got the Kansas Masonic Cancer Alliance. We've got so many, th the essay contest, are uh, so much stuff there. We've got the Exemplary Teacher and Student Awards. There's a whole list of things that your lodge can do. 
to get involved in the community, to get awareness out there. The cost of your lodge is t your time. That's it. They're not asking for funds from your lodge. The Masonic Foundation will give the money. Kansas Masonic Pride Program. Let's see what else Brother Bob had to say. Uh, the second statistic that uh, uh, that we had was uh, uh, 20 percent of men uh, 21 years and older had indicated that they would be very interested in becoming or considering becoming a Mason. 20 percent of men in Kansas. So what that translates to, if you extrapolate it to the number of men in Kansas that are 21 years and older, is almost 200,000 men. Think about that. Almost 200,000 men in Kansas said that they would be very interested, but they don't know where to go or who to talk to. 200,000 guys want to join Freemasonry, but have no clue how to do it. That just says we're not getting out of the community. We're not talking to these guys. We're not giving them an, an avenue, an opening. And I'm not talking just to Blue Lodge Masons. I'm talking to you Scottish Rite guys, you York Rite guys, you Shriner guys. If there's 200,000 people out there that don't know how to join, we're doing something wrong. We should be open and available to talk to these guys. Now, I, I know, of the 200,000 guys, not all of them have what it takes to be a Freemason. So even if it was 25%, I mean, that's 25,000 if my math's correct. But I mean, imagine if we got 25,000 guys into the fraternity or to petition, and then only got, say, half of that. I mean, that would be a great, a great huge number. I mean, but it's not about the number. We want the quality guys. That's why I'm saying of 200,000 guys, maybe only 12,500 would make it through. But then it passes on and passes on. Get out there, guys. If they don't know where to go, that's our fault. Let's change that. The final statistic I want to share with you is what motivates them to join an organization like ours. Far and away, the number one reason that men said that they would join an organization like ours, 79%, is that that organization does good in the community. Now think about that. That that organization does good in the community. If only 1% of the population knows we do charitable work here in Kansas, and that only 13% even know who we are and what we do, we've got a long ways to go. And bottom line, and you'll be hearing more about this at Annual Communications, it's all about empowering and motivating our lodges. Brothers, more to come. Thank you. Are we seeing a theme here? They want to join a group that does work in their community. This seems to be what we do. And if the guys in your community haven't figured that out, again, you and I are doing something wrong. We've got to get out there. The programs are there. All it costs is our time. We need to invest that. I'm not looking to get guys into Freemasonry necessarily. I'm looking to improve our reputation and the knowledge of people about who we are and what we do. Now, something else that Bob talked about in the session with the area district deputies and he's trying to poke these guys because the foundation has got money that they want to give your lodge it's for the matching funds program and this is for charitable activities that your lodge is doing say your lodge has a your, your community has a food bank and maybe your lodge gives we'll say a hundred dollars to the food bank every year well if you apply to the kansas masonic foundation's matching funds program they will match that hundred bucks so now your hundred bucks becomes two hundred bucks and your lodge, every lodge in Kansas, is eligible for up to $1,000 in matching funds every year. Now, we've got about 200 lodges in Kansas. Last year, 70 lodges did not participate in that program. So there's $70,000 that did not go to charity. At least $70,000. Did your lodge participate? Even if you're giving 50 bucks to the Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts, you can get that matched by the Kansas Masonic Foundation. Come on now, it's just a matter of filling out an application online. Go to kansasmasonic.foundation, scroll down there, all the paperwork's right there, just fill it out, send it in, boom, you're done. 
they'll deposit electronically right into the bank account. It's that simple, folks. These are things that the community wants. We sit around in Lodge saying, this is what we want to do. People are saying they want it. Let's give it to them. It's that simple. Bob will be talking about that and more at this year's annual communication. Annual communication, where's it going to be at? It's in Wichita at the Hyatt. Going to be on the 20 and 21st. Actually, it starts the 19th. There'll be a welcome reception. We're giving away that 68 Camaro, that red, beautiful uh, Camaro that Guy Fietti drove on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Giving that away, and then the next day they're going to be introducing the next car. They told me all about it. Holy wow, you are going to love the next car as well. Totally unexpected to what it is, but you got to be there. They'll have it in Wichita to showcase. Well, I think both cars are going to be in Wichita um, to showcase. Anyway, so on the 19th is a welcome reception, all sorts of stuff going on on the 19th in the evening. Then on the 20th is the actual annual communication. Big banquet that evening. And then on the 21st is uh, incoming 20, uh, 2020 officer installation. So get registered for that. There are some uh, rooms reserved for Kansas Freemasons. The code is on the Grand Lodge webpage. I'll put that up, www.kansasmason.org. Hello, you knew that but the direct link is down in the comments of this video. So I hope to see you in Wichita. Maybe we'll do a live broadcast, maybe we'll record down there. We haven't really done that yet, and this could be a great year to do that. And thanks for watching. It's been great to be back with another episode for you. Things are starting to settle down at the Kellerman household, so hopefully we'll be back on a somewhat regular recording schedule now. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the dislike button. Either way, slide on over, hit that subscribe and notification bell. What that does is sends you an email, a text message, a notification every time we post new content. Until next time, this is Darren Cullen reminding you to keep it squarely on the level.